it's not that scary, I promise. This book is dedicated to the awesome students at Madison Junior High, past, present, and future. Are you nervous about making your course requests? Don't be. After reading this book, you'll be an expert. First, go to www.msd321.com. Click on Students. Then click on PowerSchool. Type in your username. This is the first part of your school email. And then your password. If you don't know it, check with the office of your school. Finally, you click right on Class Choice. These are the seventh grade requirements. Three English classes, one each trimester. Three math classes, one each trimester. Your math teacher will pick those for you. Two science classes, two social studies classes, one health class, one PE or athletic conditioning, and three electives, one each trimester. These are the eighth grade requirements. Three English classes, one each trimester. Three math classes, one each trimester. Again, your math teacher will pick these for you. Two science classes, astronomy and geology. Two history classes, one PE or athletic conditioning. One careers class and three electives, one each trimester. Yeah! These are the ninth grade requirements. Two English classes, three math classes, one each trimester. Again, your math teacher will pick these for you. Two science classes, two world history or Spanish or French classes, and six electives, two each trimester. Whoa! Look for these exciting new classes. Exploring Idaho counts as a science. No, really, it does. Ninth grade. AP World History counts as world history, also ninth grade, and new computer classes. Stay tuned for those, and those are for all grades. Now, let's talk about choosing your electives. You pick your three favorites, or six favorites if you're a ninth grader, on your requests. Then you pick three backups called alternates. This is in case your favorites are full. The most common mistake is picking the same electives or same alternates over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah, don't do that. These are the important dates you need to know. Class choice requests open March 14th until March 25th. How do I get the classes that I want? Best chance, make your requests. Now, stay tuned for a live demonstration. Mm. So here we are on the Madison School District homepage. You can find this by going to msd321.com. And so, from this homepage to log into PowerSchool, you just go over here to this PowerSchool links button, click that, and then you click on students, and then PowerSchool, and then you'll go ahead and sign yourself in. So you'll enter your username and password. And that will take you into your PowerSchool main page. And then over here on the left, you just click on class choice. Okay, so you see this icon over here, you're just gonna click directly on that class choice and that's going to take you into the class choice. So here you are on your student request page in class choice. This is where you're going to make your request for your classes for next school year. Okay, and so if you are a ninth grader, you would first go to step one special. This is add release time. This is for release time seminary that is taught here at the junior high for ninth graders only. 
So if you were a ninth grader, you could go in, it would have you have the option for you to select release time seminary. It counts as two classes, okay, it takes up two spots in your schedule. You would hit save requests and then be done. For seventh and eighth graders, there is no seminary and so you would skip that step. For step two, you add core. So you can see your math is already in there for you. Your math teacher picks your math for next year, so you don't need to do that. So you click Add Core, and this is where you are going to pick all of your other required classes. So for English, it says right here, you must request three additional credits. So you're going to go ahead and select three classes of English, 7A, 7B, and 7C, for Ms. Taylor Swift, who is a seventh grader. Math is already selected for you, so do not pick anything in math. If you pick something in math, it's going to give you an error and you're not going to be able to save your request. So just go ahead and skip the math section. For science for seventh graders, you have to pick two credits. That's the same for eighth graders and ninth graders. You all have to pick two credits of science. So you pick, go ahead and pick your two credits of science. For social studies for seventh grade, it's two credits. Um, eighth graders, you have two credits of history. Ninth graders, you have the choice of either two credits of history or two credits of Spanish. So for Taylor, she is going to pick regular social studies A and B. You also could pick enriched social studies for one of your options. So maybe she decides she wants to pick social studies A and enriched social studies. You can hover on this info button to see more about that enriched social studies, see what it's about. For Seventh graders and eighth graders, you also have to take PE. So you can take either regular PE or athletic conditioning. Taylor's gonna take regular PE. And seventh graders, you have to take health. Eighth graders, you have to take careers. Okay, so then you're gonna go ahead and save your requests. Now, if you have any question about what requirements you have as a seventh, eighth, or ninth grader, went over those at the beginning of this video. You also have those on your paper that um, you should receive from your teacher. If you did not get a paper, make sure you talk to the office. Now, once your core classes are all full, you can see this green bar right here is almost full. This is kind of your summary of your classes that you've chosen. So you can see you still need three more hours. Okay, so that means you need to pick three more classes. Those are going to be your electives. Um, ninth graders, when you finish doing all of your core classes, you will have four to six um, elective spaces left. So in seventh grade, you have either exploratory classes or music. So if you go into exploratory, you would go ahead and pick any three of these classes that are interesting to you. You can hover over the info button on any of these to see what they're about. If you pick a music class, that's going to be band, orchestra, or choir. Those are all three trimesters, and so you just pick. So if we're going to pick choir. You just have to pick it one time and hit save, and you can see that your requests are done. You're all full. Now, if I don't want to pick choir, then I would go into the exploratory, and I would pick three. So maybe I'm going to pick drama and explore Spanish and beginning guitar, and then I would hit save. Okay, and you can see again, it's full. Now, very important, especially if you're picking um, the exploratory classes, uh, that you pick some alternates, because sometimes these get full, and so you might need to have a backup. Now, don't pick the same classes for your alternates that you picked for your initial request. That's not going to work. So you need to pick three different classes to back up your three first choice classes. Okay, so you just go back into this exploratory and maybe I'm going to pick robotics and 3D art and Young Living One and hit save. Okay, so now I have three backups for my electives and then you're done. Okay, you don't need to, there's nothing else you have to save. Your bar is all green, so you're all finished. You can print the requests if you want. And I'll just take you to this nice print screen so you can print them or take a picture and um, save it for later. Notice again, just as a reminder, you're not picking your teachers with this process. This is just picking your classes. And then we will load your schedules and you'll be able to take a look at what teachers you were uh, placed in at a later date. If you do have any questions, please make sure you talk to the office or you can talk to a counselor.
Thanks for watching. Good luck with your requests.